All right, everybody. Confession. Positivity guy here, as they say. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yesterday was a bad day. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. You work and a smile, letting you go for a run. Cause you had a bad day. Woo! When I say yesterday, yesterday was one of those days where it started out where I needed an extra two, three, and four cups of coffee. I'm sluggish and I could feel, I could feel my body and my, like mentally being drained and I was mentally exhausted. The beginning start of my day yesterday. So it was just already just foolish starting out. I get to my desk. I have another cup of coffee to try to wake me up. Try to look at all of the notes I have, the positivity messages that are on my board and my, on my desk and on my computer. And, and I'm trying to get inspired. I'm trying to get encouraged. And I'm sitting there and, and the more I'm forcing this encouragement, the more I'm forcing myself to be inspired the more things around me just begin to fall. You know that day when you feel like the world is completely against you? You know, when you, your associates are asking questions that you know damn well they know the answer to, or you're getting emails from people that are attacking you and your team and your department, and all the while you're thinking and knowing in the back of your mind that you know damn well that they have ill intentions. You know that they do. Or you're speaking to high officials and, oh my gosh, they're wanting you to be a part of projects you know damn well. Damn well your ass should not be on and that they really need to be asking somebody else. But, okay. When your coworkers are simply not doing their jobs. When your partners are not performing to the best of their abilities. And for some reason, all of their drama, all of their foolishness, they want to put on your shoulders. You know, have you, like for real, have you ever had that kind of damn day? I mean, to the point we're getting in traffic and <sighs> staying in traffic for an hour and 50 minutes just to get home from that crazy ass day. And for some reason, some accident that you later found out was just a goddamn fender bender holding up you from getting home. That's the kind of day I had yesterday. <laughs> Woo! I will say this. I have learned that there is freedom and self-awareness. Because through it all, I realized that I was the only common denominator. That was it. Like all that shit that was going on around me, I was the single common denominator. My self-awareness gave me the opportunity to realize that, to focus on that, to see that. Not necessarily to stop this crap that was going on around me. Not even to fix my mood, because I really wasn't trying to do that. But I definitely forced myself to not make any major decisions while I was in that state. And until I got out of it, I was going to remain neutral in every decision, in every email, in every conversation that I was having with my team. I want to encourage you today that don't try to stop anger. Don't try to stop fear. Don't try to stop disgust. Understand that those are real emotions, they're real actions, and they're things and feelings that we all have as humans. Don't stop them. Do not block them. Learn to be self-aware enough to know when you are in those particular acts. And just simply don't make a decision until you're out of it. I had to get back. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I had to get back in alignment with the universe. And you can do that in a couple of simple ways. You can exercise to kind of meet your energy to meet that energy. It definitely works. Oh, it works. You can breathe. You can take a five to 10 minute, 15 minute break. Go to lunch. 
go to the bathroom and just speak affirmations to yourself in the mirror. Like, it really works to calm you down, to get your mindset off of the situation and the different circumstances that are happening around you, to focus yourself back onto you, and to be self-aware enough to know that you have full control over your reactions. To whatever that is going on around you. Don't try to fix the situation. Allow the things to happen around you. And do not, by all means, do not make a life-changing decision when those kind of circumstances are happening around you and you're feeling attacked. That is the worst time. I want to encourage you this Saturday, just be self-aware. Self-awareness is amazing. There's truth with freedom in it. I want to encourage you also to stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. They are broke, honey. There's freedom in that as well in not keeping up with them. <laughs> I love you guys as always. I'll see you um, probably on Instagram first thing tomorrow morning and definitely on Monday. Make sure that you're up to date and subscribe to the latest podcast of Inspired by Jimmy L. Where ever you're listening to podcasts. I love you guys as always.